Um, so we are going to be um, hopping back on the tee and going to the one of my favorite neighborhoods in Pittsburgh, um, which is Allentown, where we will be visiting Inspired by Spirit. So um, right here we have uh, Jesse Mater and Mike Miles um, to introduce us to Inspired by Spirit. Hey, how's it going guys? Um, thank you, Becca. Thank you guys for, uh, for checking us out today. Um, so yeah, Inspired by Spirits. Uh, the name Inspired by Spirits is actually kind of a lifestyle that uh, Mike and I have been living that we kind of conjured up you know, a few years ago. Inspired by Spirits, all things spiritual uh, as far as like, you know, love of travel, love of history, a love of, um, you know, spirits, cocktails, haunted hotels, haunted hotel bars, um, and even, you know, it'll, we dive into a little bit of the paranormal. So the name itself is, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a culture and a lifestyle that we feel like, you know, we, we kind of built. Um, so our, our business, we're sitting right now in uh, Dr. Tumble, this is the retail part of our business. So the name Inspired by Spirits actually encapsulates three, three parts in three phases. So uh, everything we have is either inspired by history, inspired by time, uh, the history of Pittsburgh, um, you know, and, 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 and uh, actually, you know, booze. So uh, this is our concept. To break it down a little bit for you guys, we, we, are, we are sitting right now in Dr. Tumblety's Time Inspired Specialty Shop. And this is actually just phase one. We opened this, we opened this uh, store in 2019 in Allentown, and this is phase one. So we sell... Uh, we sell, you know, time inspired products, hats, fragrances, things like that. And then uh, the money that we, for the money from Honeycomb is going to help us get into this phases two and three of our business. Uh, phase one is Dr. Templeton's. Phase two is a historic um, Storyville lounge that will be connected to the back of Dr. Templeton's. And phase three will be um, our Inspired by Spirits Distillery. Uh, where Mike is our master craftsman, we will also be building our stills. So that's three phases. Honeycomb will help us get there. Now, before we, we're going to take you through, we're going to take you through, but before we, before we get into that, I just want to run through the, the streams of revenue that, uh, the streams of revenue that we can, that we can gain from building this entire Inspired by Spirits world. We have retail. At the end of the day, we're going to have retail, private events, corporate events, bottle sales from house-made spirits, cocktails, distillery tours, distillery courses, selling our copper stills for home distilling, shows and pop-up events, and then also private labeling, uh, you know, for home liquor, like, you know, doing custom labels and private labels. So that's the overview of the three parts of our business. And uh, so a little bit about us. I'm just rambling. Sorry, guys, we're a little nervous. Um, technical difficulties. So anyways, I'm Jesse Mater. Uh, I'm Mike Miles. I'm going to be the head distiller here. I'm also the craftsman who's going to be responsible for the actual build out of the distillery and the tasting lounges. I have a little bit of history with uh, construction. I've run my own roofing company for the past 15 years, and I've done a lot of odds and ends of building houses and stuff like that. So my craftsmanship is going to go a long way with our actually our actual build out. Our funding is actually going to help us with the materials and some of the equipment we need rather than the actual paying contractors that build for us. Um, I'll actually be in charge of building the stills that will be selling to consumers as well. And I built by hand all the copper stills that you'll see in our distillery that, that will be making our liquors to go with it. Yeah, Mike's, Mike will bring that old world uh, high quality craftsmanship to everything we do. And uh, again, I'm Jesse Mater. Uh, my background is I'm actually from Allentown. I grew up in Allentown. Mike grew up right up the hill with both Hilltop natives. So we have a, a special love for this neighborhood. Um, my, I have a, my background is primarily uh, creative. Mike and I are both musicians. I do uh, marketing and branding, been running a graphic design firm for about 15 years. Uh, I've been a part owner. So uh, Mike and I are both bringing our professional experience. So, uh, you know, as investors, it, you'd, you'd want to know that, you know, Mike's craftsmanship as a roofer and as a carpenter, a master craftsman, building the stills and handling all the construction for phase two and three. And then, I'll, you know, all the branding and marketing website or online store and everything, I'll be handling that aspect. And, uh, you know, our, our, so our money can be best used, the investor money can be best used where we need it. And uh, we can save a lot of money because of our skill sets. So, and uh, so I think, uh, I think really what makes us stand out is what we have just talked about, uh, our skill sets and what we're bringing to this, you know, we're, we're bringing to this company, not only, our, not only do we have this three-part world where people can come enjoy uh, all kinds of people, all walks of life. We're building our own stills, which I don't know, Mike, 
I don't know if we know. I don't know if we know uh, another distillery that's actually doing that. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't say we're the only ones that are doing that. But as far as Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania are concerned, we don't know of any other distilleries that have actually built their own stills or are making stills to sell to consumers on that level. Most people are just going, "Hey, we're a distillery. We sell liquor." They don't have tasting lounges and event spaces and retail stores to go along with it. So we've encapsulated several areas and put them all together to make one one big you know, team of people in this company work together. We, we don't want to be focused on just selling liquor or just selling this or just selling that. We're going to be bringing all this into one world. And, you know, it's going to be an experience. It's going to be a destination spot rather than just, you know, another little corner store somewhere that people occasionally walk into. Yeah, I think I think that's what it is. We're bringing an entire, the Inspired by Spirits experience is, I think, what people will walk out of here. You know, if you love history and nostalgia, and um, as you can see here, th these are some of the some of the product pictures. Th this is some of what we we've, we're currently selling in Dr. Tumultis. We have um, you know time inspired hats, fragrances. Uh, all of our products are they're they're inspired by all of our travels. Um, from London, or even down in New Orleans, we have products from Voodoo Authentica. We have Guren Brothers hats. As you, as you can see, you know we love we love hats and, and um, anything that's inspired by history. Um, and you really can't get any of our products uh, anywhere close to here within you know probably the next large city. And as you can see, the pictures, if you look at the bottom left and right, you'll actually see the pictures of some of Mike's gorgeous uh, copper stills, again, that, you know, we're building from scratch. That's a six gallon. And those are actually available to, for purchase from customers right now. And uh, so, I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much an overview. And I mean, we can. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, <laughs> so why honeycomb credit? Like Mike said, we've already hit 30,000. Uh, what that does is that covers our architect fees that covers some of the lawyer fees and that will also allow us to complete the distiller's license uh process and as soon as we get that we can you know we can thirty thousand helps pay for that the rest of the money what we need more investment money for is to build out phase two construction materials uh you know building of the actual stills plumbing electric and we have five thousand square feet so um if you guys if you guys are ready if you want to take a we're going to take you through a really really quick walking tour through our spaces just you can kind of see just you can kind of see what we're what we're what we're gonna do here. And uh, I promise this will be really quick for the camera. All right, cool. All right, so guys, real quick, I'm gonna do this real quick. So this is Dr. Tumbletees again, time inspired products. We got Blue Authentica, we got a hand board of our fragrances from New Orleans, cat to apothecary. Um, old old world tinctures. Now again, everything we have is inspired by. You know the Victorian era, pre-prohibition era, when every you know Dr. Tumblet, he was traveling the world in a snake oil cart, and he was selling his elixirs, which were primarily alcohol. So everybody knows that. So that's what ties our distillery in. So we come around. We got. We're also going to feature. We want people to be educated too. We have books that kind of talk about the history of Pittsburgh, and uh, we got haunted paranormal books. You know anything that's inspired by spirits, time inspired hats, and then like I mentioned before. Guru Brothers, which is a hat company inspired, you know, that started in Pittsburgh. We have Rock Mater Vintage, which is authentic vintage for anybody who likes true vintage clothing. And uh, so if you follow me to the back, you know, I know it looks like we have nothing else. People say, oh, where's the bathroom? Your store's kind of small. And I said, well, you know what? With investor money, we're going to have the Storyville Lounge, which is phase two. Dr. Tony's phase one, Storyville Lounge is phase two. If you want to get a drink, you'll have to walk through the book phase back to our 2,500 square foot lounge. And this is just the shell. So your investor money will help us make this shell look like this rendering. So we're at Storyville, New Orleans. This is where prostitution was actually made legal because it was a port city and there was too much prostitution and just ban it. So anyways, that th this will be the Storyville lounge behind Dr. Tumultis. And if you follow me outside, I'm gonna take you over so you can see the space for phase three, which will be the Inspired by Spirits distillery. And, uh, the spaces will actually be connected, but right now they are not. So it's Warrington Avenue again. How familiar with Five Star Italian restaurant is right, right across the street. So Mike's going to talk about the distillery. So this will be our distillery space. It's uh, still a little bit rough, but this is what we'll be seeking funding for. We want to turn the front half of this into our distillery. You'll get a good shot of it when you're walking by. You know, we've got glass windows in the front here, so you'll be able to see the copper stills, which are 
going to be located right around the corner here. Like I said, this is all going to be redesigned and remodeled to look a little bit better. But this is one of the copper stills that I built that will actually function in a distillery. This is our whiskey and our brandy still. Also like rums and things like that. We'll have another still that will run separately for vodkas and gins. Um, this thing here is just another accessory that I build, you know, for the consumer level, but this will function in our distillery. This is a gin basket. Uh, this piece isn't quite done yet, but eventually this will be the basket that sits inside of this unit here. Fill it up with the, you know, uh, botanicals, juniper, whatever you want to flavor gins with or whatever you want to flavor any distiller with. This is how you get the flavor in your actual liquor. Um, we've been kind of using this space as a temporary, you know, unit to actually build stills, but we do have another building that will be our warehouse that will serve the purpose for building stills once this is turned into a distillery. And we have another room that's in the back here that's a little bit too rough to show right now, but that will actually be the second half of our tasting lounge. So eventually when everything's done, we'll have secret doors that cut through both units. Um, there'll be two bars, one on each side of the wall, which will be able to open up so we can have one big event where we can separate it and have two events going on each side at the same time. Um, like I said, we'll have tours to the distillery. This is the area where we'll be doing classes and, you know, this is where the business will actually happen. So we'll make all the liquor. And uh, from there, it's, uh, it's all up to what we, can, what we can earn, I guess, you know? This is what we need. This is what we're trying to build. I don't know if I can add anything else to that. Cool. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we're probably went over, we apologize, but uh, that's inspired by spirits. And oh yeah, this is what we got guys. It's 5,000 square feet inspired by spirits. And uh, you know, so this will be the final layout once our architects finish this. This is what we have left to submit in order to get our licensing, which is part of the funding. Um, this area here is Dr. Tumbledee's as we have it right now. Behind here will be our, our lounge seating, the bar here, the wall that breaks us in half with the door going through, door going through. This is our other bar, our other lounge and tasting event space. And then you can see the distillery and where the stills and all our fermentation tanks will be lined up. Uh, that's basically what we have so far. And this is what we're looking to achieve once we're finally done. Yeah, so sorry about, we've started, we're going a little long, but we're really excited. And I uh, thank you guys again for paying attention, for checking in, and um, thank you for being inspired by Spirits with us. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you, Jesse and Mike. So next up, we are going to...